rain. You may even, ease, even see some sunshine. More on that in your time cast coming up. All right, Kate, thanks so much. Well, in just a few weeks, the State Department of Transportation will start the public portion of the Interstate 81 Project Report Review. The first large session of many public meetings will be held on June 18th. It's really a time for your voice to be heard. And they want you to come out. The meeting will be informal to start with, allowing you to check out the latest project drawings and talk with the DOT representatives. Then there'll be a formal presentation. They'll go over much of what's in that 15,000-page draft design report and environmental impact statement, which recommended the community grid. There'll be some new information too, especially on, especially on traffic, uh, traffic loads. Anyway, it's not too late to get involved and they do want you to give some feedback. Our last uh, big open house meeting resulted in changes to the uh, alternative that, would, that made it better. And so we're open to listening to the public. We're open to having that dialogue. Uh, we want good ideas. So circle your calendar. It's June 18th, the first meeting, 3 to 8 p.m. The formal presentation starts at 6. And they also plan to announce the other schedule of smaller neighborhood meetings. The dates and times for that have not yet been set. So we'll make the meeting uh, schedule public for you at localsyr.com and of course we'll be covering them all on the news. And we also have another progress report on the new highway garage in the town of Cicero. This is the latest drone footage that they have. That's a new location along Route 31. So this is replacing the old garage that was built back in 1965. The new building includes a 65,000 square foot garage, a new salt barn, and some more storage space. All right, state police have got uh arrests to report. Half a dozen homes and cars. Remember this last week in the Van Buren and Baldwinsville areas? They were shot out with a BB gun. Yeah, and the incident was captured on tape, though, with one home security camera. Take a look and a listen right now. All right, so troopers say a 17 and 18 year old from Baldwinsville are now facing criminal mischief charges. Investigators say social media tips and the DA's tip line help them bring those suspects in. So both state police and Onondaga County sheriffs continue to investigate. 533, an employee at Shopping Town Mall in DeWitt has been arrested after making a bomb threat, allegedly. Temporarily shut down the mall last week. Remember that? DeWitt police say 31-year-old Mariah Watkins from Syracuse used a texting app to send threatening messages to three employees' phones, including her own. The building was evacuated. Officers and canine units checked it out. There was no threat. Watkins has been charged with falsely reporting an incident due back in court on June 12th. I'm Andrew Donovan at the Your Stories Answer Desk with a question from Diane Marchese. She asks, with all the talk about Great Northern and Shopping Town Malls, what about Northern Lights Plaza in Mattydale? We have an answer. The planning director for the town of Salina says the plaza's owners are giving the exterior a facelift. That's why we see construction happening. But no major new tenants have committed to a lease at this point, other than a Chinese food buffet that recently opened. We'll keep an eye on Northern Lights and stay in touch with the town leaders to let you know if there are any developments. We answered Diane's question. How about yours next? Call 315-446-9900, email yourstories at localsyr.com, or hashtag yourstories on social media. At the Your Stories Answer Desk, I'm Andrew Donovan. All right, Andrew, thanks so much. 535 right now. Services for John FX Mannion, better known as Jack, will be held this tomorrow as well as Friday at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. Mannion was the husband of former Syracuse Mayor Stephanie Minor and in his own right very active in local, state, and national politics with the Democratic Party. He was the CEO of Unity Mutual Life Insurance for 20 years. His uh, visitation is tomorrow afternoon, 3 to 7 p.m. at the cathedral, and then the funeral mass is Friday morning at 9. Uh, he'll be buried at St. Mary's Cemetery in DeWitt. Well, for those of you who love Baltimore Woods Nature Center in Marcellus, you'll soon have a little bit more to love. 90 acres more. They're going to add the 90 acres as part of a joint acquisition with the Central New York Land Trust. That'll expand Baltimore Woods by almost 50 percent to 270 acres. All the extra land will allow an expansion of the trail system, education programs, and research opportunities at the Nature Center. 20,000 people visit Baltimore Woods every year. 
That Let's includes 600 over. summer campers. Can you get it? All right, well, it won't be home runs heating up in BT Bank Stadium this weekend. Instead, it'll be a lot of high flying bikes and some skateboards. They're set to take over. This will be fun. They call it Nitro Circus, and it's coming to the ballpark for the first time ever. Far Jadron is live at the Onondaga Lake Skate Park this morning with more. Hi, Farah. Good morning, Dan and Jennifer. Well, while we wait for that makeover to be done at MBT Bank Stadium, we're here at the skate park and we're joined by GM of the Syracuse Mets, Jason Smorrell, and also BMX athlete Todd Mine. And Todd, you have no roof over your head for Saturday's show. So, what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, just excited to come out and show you guys what action sports is all about. You have 20 of the best athletes in the world, motorbikes, BMX, scooters, and uh, we put on one, one crazy show. Jason, you're, you love to call, uh, what is it, the greatest show on dirt? The most so, amazing most show. amazing show on dirt. So, what are you going to call Saturday? Because uh, this is blowing the uh, baseball out of the out of the ballpark as far as excitement. So, I can't wait to see what goes on. It's going to be awesome. They zip in, do crazy stunts, blow a bunch of stuff up, come back down, put it back on the truck, and get out. So, it's going to be a one day uh, amazement fest at historic NBT Bank Stadium. And what you guys are seeing right now is some pretty cool video from past Nitro Circus shows. So, Todd, if you have a, a favorite stunt that you're going to do or a favorite type of ride you're going to do, what is that? Uh, there's a trick I'm doing at the moment. It's a double backflip 360 no-hander, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Two backflips, spin around and take your hands off and fingers cross you land it and roll away. And no big deal, right? Self-explanatory? Pretty, pretty much. So you've been doing this a long time. You came to the States when you were 15 to take your career to the next level. What has been the most enjoyable part? Part about going higher and higher? Um, the most enjoyable part is just progressing action sports. A lot of these guys on Nitro Circus are guys that I watched when I was 10 years old on the couch, and now it's pretty cool to be a part of it and be a part of uh, the progression in action sports and doing things that uh, I didn't even think were possible, and still somehow it keeps getting crazier and crazier. Awesome. Well, Todd, Jason, thank you so much. And I was going to ask Todd to show us a little bit of something, but we do have some bad news. The airline lost his bag and his bike, so he is here with just these clothes and does not have his bike, unfortunately. Hopefully, the airline will find that before he goes to his next show and then zips back here Saturday. So if you want to get tickets to actually see Todd do some of those tricks, you have to go to localsyr.com. We have all the information you need there. And coming up at 630, we'll talk a little bit more about it. Thanks, for Oh, we what? were hoping. I hope the airline to delivers his, gets his I know, luggage right? to him, his bike. Just run to Dick's and get a bike yeah, real you quick. Can't just, <laughs> an hour. You can't just Not use that easy, bike Kate. for that. <laughs> the greatest that. show on dirt. dirt. I love that. The greatest show on dirt. On dirt. Mm -hmm. Isn't that Seems amazing? Like I've heard that somewhere before. <laughs> Uh, anyway, nitro in some bikes form. At Are you gonna go, Dan? <laughs> I'll have to check my schedule. Oh, okay. Saturday. Okay. All right, I'll check my schedule. Okay. It is All exciting. Right. It is. No, it's really cool. All right, 5:39. You know what? Apple has put out its very first new iPod in four years. I didn't know they had made them anymore. Yeah. We, they do. And Tech Bites will have that story next. All right, it's 6:04. As well as water levels on Lake Ontario continue to rise. Those officials, they're told that there is nothing else that can be done to protect the property. So we'll have what they're saying coming up after the break. You're watching the morning news.